guys and welcome back to our channel. So I already did my brows off camera and prime and moisturize using these two products. For foundation, I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation in the color bronze. And I'm going to take an oldie but a goodie brush, my Sigma F80. And I'm going to tap this into my skin instead of using circular motions. This does take much longer to blend in your foundation as opposed to using a beauty blender, but I promise you the finish is so worth it. I finally got my hands on my on the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to use this for the entire look. I'm picking up these two very light brown shades. Tapping off the excess and using this basically as my transition shade and blending this into my crease and outer V. And when I have no additional product left on my brush, I'm going to blend it up into and closer to my brow bone. After I'm finished with that, you're going to see me pick up a darker brown shade and I'm going to place this directly where we put the transition shade. And blend it again into my crease and outer V and when I have no additional product left on the brush I'm going to blend it up to my brow bone now I'm going to pick up these two like burnt reddish brown shadows and I'm basically doing a halo effect. I'm packing the shadow on my inner corners and on the outer V and then I'm going to connect it and blend it into the crease leaving my lid space without any product in clear. To deepen up the outer V I'm taking a mixture of these two dark brownish shades and I'm going to place this exactly on the outer V and on the, I would say, half of the crease and just blending it until I am happy with the way that it looks. I'm picking up a clean blending brush and picking up this orangey shadow and I'm going to use this to blend out all of the edges and make sure everything is nice and seamless without any harsh lines. Now for the lid, I'm taking this, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a reddish bronze shimmery shadow and I'm going to pick it up with a Bare Minerals concealer brush actually. And I'm going to spray a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on my brush and pack this all over my lid. Now to highlight my brow bone, I'm going into my Carly Bible palette and picking up those two highlight shadows and just placing it on my brow bone. And then after that, I'm going to highlight. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm actually using the concealer to sharpen the, the shadow on the outer V and make it nice and crisp. And now I'm going to go in back with my Sigma F80 brush and just tap everything in and blend it until I'm happy. Again, I'm just going to place this under my eye, my forehead, bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my chin and smile lines. Now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, and this is in the shade Caramel Toffee, and I'm just going to use the banana shade to set everywhere that I put concealer. And then I'm going to go in with my Milani Multitasker Powder in the color tan and set everywhere else that I didn't put concealer. Now after this, I'm going to go in with a liner and I'm using the NYC Liquid Liner and I'm just going to do a normal wing just following the guy that I use when I sharpen the outer V of the eyeshadows. Now after that, I'm going in with Ardell Demi Wispies for lashes. And I'm just going to quickly show you how I put them on. I usually don't show you because it takes me forever. This is just speed up. So it actually took me like a good 10 minutes to apply lashes. For my waterline, I'm just going to apply any black liner that you have and just apply that into your waterline. And then I'm going to go in with that dark 
brown shade in the palette and blend out that black liner and then after I'm done with that, further blending it out using a mixture of those two like burnt reddish brick shades and blend that even more. For mascara, I'm going in with the Maybelline The Falsies Push-Up Drama Mascara and this mascara is the bomb. So for my inner highlight, I'm taking a mixture of those three highlight shades and just placing it in the inner corner. For contour, I'm going back in my Wet n Wild contouring palette and like you see, I'm just placing the contour like a straight line where I want it to be and then I'm like working my way in and blending it the way that I want to. I'm just going to place it where you would normally contour, the cheekbone, um, around my forehead and my jawline. For blush, I'm going in with one from Milani. This is a powder blush. It's in the color Romantic Rose. I'm just going to place this on the tops of my cheeks and then sweep it up, up to my brows. For highlight, I'm taking a mixture of those two shades in the Carly Bible palette and I'm just going to place this where you would normally put highlights, so the tops of your cheekbone, the bridge of your nose. I do put a little bit on the very tops of my brows and on the cupid's bow, of course. I'm going to clean up that contour line using the banana shade in the Wet n Wild palette. And I don't like to have a straight line across my face, so I only bake about half of it into my cheeks. So like you're seeing here, I'm just using the banana shade and then immediately brushing it off with a dual fiber brush. And then I'm going to go in with a lip liner from Wet n Wild, this is in Maroon, and then World from MAC just to top everything off. And this is going to be the end of the look, guys. I hope you like it. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe and follow us on Instagram.